Okay, welcome back. How did you go with that code I left you with? Did you have a go? And I hope you did. Um, I guess you wouldn't know it actually works or not yet because we haven't been able to run it. But let me go through uh, basically just following from this point on but for our vertices. Okay, so I'm going to call it UVs ref and that's going to equal GL gen buffers 1 then UVs data equals a NP dot array self dot vertex UVs NP dot float 32 then UVs ID equals GL get a trib location and we're getting it from our program again so program ID and we're looking for vertex UV. Remember it's got to be spelt the same as it is in the um, vertex shader. Okay so we can go GL bind buffer GL array buffer UV's ref then a GL vertex a trib pointer. Now this is a vector 2 these values so for those we're going to need two GL floats and false zero and none. Okay make sure you spell it right not like I have there and then GL enable vertex a trib array at UV's ID and GL bind buffer GL array buffer UV's ref not data I haven't got that far yet and then GL buffer data GL array buffer UVs data dot ravel GL static draw okay great we've done that's it that's all we need to have in this initializer for our mesh next we can get on to our drawing of the actual mesh so down here we're going to have def draw and this gets called back in our main application and this is where we now pass through our uniform values now you can have uniform values in a vertex shader or a fragment shader these ones for shader toy are all to do with the fragment shader and these are unlike single pixel values that have been coming through as far as a single pixel UV or a single pixel color or a single pixel vertex. These are actually um, more complex values and don't and I get applied, I guess, across all pixels. OK, so they get dealt with in the draw slightly differently than um, what we've done previously. So there's the the timer, there's the resolution and we'll leave the resolution for back in our main program. But in here we want to update the timer and the mouse because they're the two things out of all those uniforms that actually can change during the program running. So timer ID equals GL get uniform location from the program ID and it's called I time does it sound familiar yeah it, it sounds familiar because we did some like getting of values at, attribute values this time we're getting our uniform values so we've got this and then we go GL uniform 1F. Now it's 1F because that uniform for time is a float. Okay, there. These are two float values 
that's a single float value. So one F and then we're going to say timer ID and we're going to pass through pygame.time.getTicks. So basically the time in milliseconds and we need to make it really small to slow things down. So we're going to multiply it by 0 0.001. This is the value you modify if you want it to run faster or slower. And that by faster or slower, I mean the actual animation that you're seeing in the shader. Okay, so mouse ID now um, will equal GL get uniform location self dot program ID. And the mouse is called I mouse. Now these aren't the names I gave it. These are the names that Shader Toy is looking for. So I've just kept them the same. GL uniform. In this case, it's going to be a 2F. So uniform 2F. And that will be mouse ID. And we pass through pygame.mouse.get underscore pause which gets a tuple of two values so if we get the first one we're getting our x position of our mouse and pygame.mouse.get pause one for the y position of the mouse and then gl bind vertex array now this hasn't got anything to do with the uniforms this is about actually drawing our vertices on the screen which then are basically shaded by the shader okay so if you remember we created a vertex array object so we're passing through self dot bao ref which is where we parked all of our vertices and we're going to use a GL draw arrays, which is an open GL command to draw something. We're going to draw it as triangles. Because if you remember, there's two triangles in this particular plane that we're trying to draw. Um, we want zero as the first index of the values that we're passing through. And we're going to do it for length of self dot vertices, which is six. Okay, so we're basically doing um, two triangles that are going to come out that should be a plural there too um, of the values in the VAO that we've set up up the top and we're just going to do the six of them which will give us two triangles it will give you the six values that get passed through to the vertex shader okay which are these positions which then get made into fragments and then all those possible pixels get sent to the frag which then colors those pixels and pushes them out onto the screen or onto the actual mesh itself i should say because that's what we're doing we're coloring that mesh that we've created if you'd like to support our work like us on youtube visit our website holistic3d.com look for our courses on holistic3dlearn.com or support us on patreon